Welcome to Math 151 for uh, the summer of uh, 2023 here at Wacom Community College. My name is Chuck Devanji. I'm your instructor uh, for this course. Uh, it's a fun class. I'm glad that, that we get to do it together. Uh, I've been here at Wacom for over 20 years as an adjunct instructor. I also teach math in the Bellingham School District, currently at Bellingham High School. And uh, so that's pretty much what I do is, is all math all day, uh, at least most days. So. Uh, we are using WAMAP, as you know, not using Canvas as our as our shell, our core shell. Uh, I like WAMAP a lot. It lets us communicate better about math. It gives us a better uh, assessment of vehicle. You can take tests online and that sort of thing. So I'm I'm fond of WAMAP. Uh, it matches it matches math uh, very well, I think. So here is um, a screen you've probably seen before. This is in student mode. You can see that I have some weeks laid out and that sort of thing. Um, just so you can see behind the curtain a little bit, the whole uh, course is laid out by week and that sort of thing. Um, right now in this video, I want to talk about some, some peculiarities about WAMAP, also some um, just some things about this course in general, kind of my expectations of that sort of thing. So announcements are here. Uh, you've probably already seen it, but I will post at least weekly here. If anything important comes up, it's in there. Also, just keeping you posted. Um, and then I have a resources page, and I've got uh, some weeks. So let's just look at week one. So you have some day one tasks that I want you to get one done, as you know, because you're watching this video. Um, these are lectures. So like 2.1, that's a, that's a unit out of the book, a chapter. They will be a lecture involved, and then some questions that I think are good questions to practice out of the these exercises, really do those exercises. It really, really helps. So these would be the lectures and uh, basically assignments for the week. Quizzes and forums as well. Uh, there's a forum and there's a practice quiz that's due. I'll talk details about those shortly. And if you'll notice, uh, due dates are always right here on these as well. If you wanna peek ahead to week two, you can see what's going on uh, in week two for us. These weeks, I'll, I'll release these about a week and a half before the actual week. So if you are the type of person, and uh, I encourage you to maybe do it if you can, that likes to work ahead a little bit, work ahead. You can do everything except the tests and quizzes. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, like not the quizzes, except the midterm and the final um, ahead of where it's on the schedule. So you can work ahead a lot in this, in this course. I really suggest you don't slip behind though. All right, let's take a peek at the resources. And I want to start with, uh, this is a good place to ask just questions in general, um, if you want to ask them. Um, the textbook, we're using OpenStax. You can go there. It's it's an uh, open source textbook, so you shouldn't have to buy anything for that. Looking at the syllabus, my Wacom email is not even on here. That's good, because I would rather that you contact me through WAMAP. So if you look at over here where it says messages, you can uh, send emails within our WAMAP program. And uh, what's great about that is I'm, I'm going to send a new message. There's only one person in, enrolled, but I'd send it to me like this. And um, whatever type, blah, 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 blah. What I love is you can type math in here. So um, if you look at add new math, there's other shortcuts too, which you can look into. Um, let's say I wanted to say like x plus 7 quantity squared divided by the square root of y, something like that. You can type it, and it'll write it like this, like a way that we would actually write it if we were writing it, which is fantastic. It makes it a lot easier for us to communicate to each other. So if you're going to message me, message me, message me there. All right, lots of things on the syllabus, course outcomes. Uh, here is the assessment schedule. Uh, when the exams happen in the final. Um, note, it's not a self-paced course. You'll see on the calendar that, I'm, that I'll show you next that I actually, there, there are due dates uh, for things and I, I have a, a very strong recommendation on when things should, should be done. Um, important note, this class ends at the final. The final is final. Um, so once that final's over, uh, that's it. That, that's the class. There's nothing else that can be done. So. Just so you know, just in case you're, you're thinking about sending an email that's like, what can I do? Um, also, 
you get uh, six late passes. So late passes extend the due date on practice quizzes and timed quizzes. You cannot use them on forums and you cannot use them on um, the exam or the, or the final either. And you get six of them, so if you need to use it, use it. It's, it's okay. Break down of grades, that sort of thing. Uh, the homework, it's not graded. That's the uh, assignment that I showed you, the exercises to do. Um, exams and finals, these are both online. Um, each test must be completed in a consecutive 2.5 hour sitting. So you get two and a half hours to get it done. Um, on the day of the exam or the final, the, the test is open from 8 a.m. until 10 p.m. So you click start anytime in that window. And from that point, when you click start, you have two and a half hours to get it done. Um, and they both end at 10 p.m. So if someone were to start their test, say at 9.30, uh, they'd only get a half hour to work on it, 9.30 p.m. They only get a half hour to work on it. So um, another thing, uh, sometimes questions will ask you, will tell you that in order to get credit, you have to submit work. Please make sure you do that. Also, I strongly uh, recommend that you submit scratch work. Just like if you do scratch paper, just take a picture of it and message it to me through WAMAP. I can give you partial credit then in case, in case that you need it. And if you've earned it, you should get it. Okay, uh, practice quizzes and forums. So on the forums, weekly I'll ask you to answer a prompt. Uh, please answer the prompt that's being asked and make sure that it's in your own words as well, please. Um, I, want, I want to know what you think about it. Um, don't, I don't need you to Google stuff. Just like let me know what you know. Uh, so forums, and then in forums, you also have to respond to another person's post. Practice quizzes. These are a set of questions that I think are really good practice and things you should know. And will like if you can do them, you're in good shape for the for the exams. Um, on the practice quiz, you get four tries on each problem, and you get immediately, nope, that wasn't right, or yeah, that was good. Um, and they're not timed; they're just open until until you know the due date. So you can work on those early. Pick away at those. If you know how to do everything on the practice quiz, you're in great shape for the time quiz. Um, and the time quiz is a two hour quiz, one sitting, um, and it's a lot like the practice quiz. So if you are doing good, familiar with the stuff on the practice quiz, the time quiz will not be a problem for you. Um, and again, with those two, if you want to send me work, great. Uh, a couple things, when in doubt, round of three decimal places, just good rule of thumb. And then also, if uh, there's an there's an auto grader on these, I do go through after after the due dates and go through everyone's uh, answers, make sure that you're getting the points that you've earned. Um, but sometimes the auto grader won't recognize it, or I'll be like, oh, I see how they interpreted the question. I'll give you points. Um, so I will do that. But also, it's okay to email me and go, you know, I think I got this right. I think there's something wrong. Ask about it. I'm I'm here to help you. And again, just message me that uh, through the program. Okay, next piece in resources, the calendar, course calendar. This is printable. I think it would be a great idea to print this out. Um, here is the whole course laid out for the summer. Um, this is a summer class. We have to cover a bit of material in a pretty condensed amount of time. So I, there is a, it, we're gonna be busy. It is a bit of work. Um, the way this is laid out, anything that is italicized is, a, is something due, and that's the due date for it. These right here would be like the lectures, right? Like here, 2.4, 2.1, whatever, associated to a, a chapter in your book. Um, here's exam one, here's exam two, here's the final exam. And so uh, there is there it is all laid out. So you can print this out, never miss a deadline, know exactly when everything's at. So um, did I suggest printing this out? You should print this out. It's kind of lame to be like, I missed the final, I missed the exam too. I didn't know when it was. You, you do have the information on what it is. Uh, okay, so as we dig into this course into, um, into Calc 1, I want to let you know that, that my job is to make sure that you know how to do what you need to do to be successful in this course. That's, my job. So please send me questions. Post questions in forums as well. Other students can answer them. Um, I'm here to help you know how to do it. Stay on top of your work. Ask me questions. Uh, you'll do great. Okay. I'm looking forward to working with you.